to my channel it is Brittany I have another synthetic wig review for you guys and it's from that Outre 5x5 closure wig series um this is the third one I'm trying so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look together and here are my thoughts on this wig then just keep on watching okay so this is the third one here tray 100% human hair blend 5x5 lace closure wig and this is in the style Yaki 20 Yaki straight 26 inch and I have it in the color number two this is what she looks like on the stock card here or on the box Color number two, this is the third one that I have tried in this collection. They all have a little bit of something that I don't like, but they do have a lot of good with these wigs. So if you haven't watched the one on the Peruvian Water Wave 24 inch or the Body Curl 26 inch, I think it's 24. It's 24. This is the longest one here. Okay, here it is in the box here. And I have watched, um, I think I've only watched... I've only watched one review on this particular one. I watched Miss Chrissy's review. And just by looking at this wig, this wig is supposed to be a yakky texture and it looks silky. So that's already a con because you guys know I like my yakky textures. And if a wig is saying it's yakky, it should be that texture. Okay, so here is the yakky straight 26. It does have a nice natural luster to it. It does have a nice natural luster to it. Um, this reminds me of the texture of Sensational's Janelle, which is like on a more silky side, but I wouldn't say this is a light yakky. I think Outre Marissa is more of a light yakky texture. This isn't to me. Um, so here is what the lace looks like here. This is what the lace looks like here. And look at those knots. Like, they did a great job with that. And that's something I have said in the other two videos. You don't even have to tweeze the hairline. It looks amazing. Has some baby hairs there for you to use them if you want to. Or, you know, you can cut those off if you're not into baby hairs. So let's see what this cap feels like. So far, all the caps that I've tried from the, well, the other two have been on the large side, which is really good for us who have big heads. An elastic band in here. It's not adjustable. You have a comb on the right side, left side. There's that five by five area right there. Even though it's, you know, less space to part, you can still do a side part or a middle part. You have a comb on the right and left side there. A comb in the back and adjustable straps. Oof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Again, this color number two looks more like a number four, which is like a dark number four to me, even though this is a color number two. This hairline is not as, I mean, when putting it on my head, it's not as pre-tweezed as the last one I tried, the body curl. So, I mean, it is tweezed. Oh, it looks, it doesn't look that bad. But I would tweeze this up some more. And I don't think I'm going to wear this as a side part, but you can. Um, cause I'm not going to wear it as a side part. I'm going to wear it as the middle part. And the reason I was saying I'm um, like that, it's because it's exactly how Chrissy described it as being thin. So my issue with Peruvian Water Wave was that it was way too full for it to be that long and that curly. It was way too much hair. With the body curl, I felt like the density looked great overall, but in the back it was too thin. With this one, this is just thin. This is just super thin. Now, there's a sect of people who like densities like this, and this is a lighter weight density that probably won't burn you up during, you know, the warmer months like spring and summer but miss ma'am is thin i'm not but the difference with this one versus the body curl i don't feel any tracks or anything right here it's just the whole look is thin and i don't know if i'm like i don't know how i feel about that um <laughs> it does it have layers it has a little bit of layers going on in the front but I don't know y'all this is a little bit too thin for me but I am going to tweeze up the hairline just a hair so 
I'm going to pull it down on my forehead just so I don't like accidentally tweeze my own hairline through the wig. And I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to pluck and skip. Just tweeze up a little bit of the hairline. The knots on this particular one look kind of dark. I know I look crazy. I'm not doing a lot of tweezing. Miss Ma'am is definitely thin. So that's already some points knocked off there. I already to I told you guys in my last video that I, in my wig wish list video, pretty much, you know, requested that Outre make closure wigs. So I think they got that idea from my video because I don't think other people were saying that in particular in their um, video. So I think that's pretty cool. But from what I've been talking to with other like people on my Instagram and stuff, and I and I want this as well. I love the closures and what they're doing with it and it being so beginner friendly, but I do want some styles that are more everyday in length. Like, you know, 14 inches, you know, 16, 12. And them to like really nail the density of these wigs. Like this is cute, but I don't know, it just feels so thin. So everything that Chrissy said so far, it's true. It is thin and it is not, it has the luster of a light yakky, but it doesn't feel like, it feels like, it feels silky to me. You can do a side part as I like kind of showed you a little bit, but not all the way. You can do a side part, but I'm going to do a middle part. I have my hot comb on 350. It doesn't say how much you can, how much heat you can put on it. So I would play it safe and do it under 350. And I'm not gonna do the length of the hair just to mold my part. guys so this is my second time uh trying to do this outro because uh my part wasn't in the middle quite right in the middle so i had to fix that um it's probably still not all the way correct so but I, i'm not recording this over again so let's get into the pros and the cons of this wig so with the pros i do like in general i like straight wigs um, so, you know, it's a basic style, but I like basic styles. So I like the style. I love how the knots are not super big on this. Now they aren't as small as the other two wigs for some reason. The knots are definitely smaller than a lot of synthetic wigs that I've tried. Uh, the lace is pretty good as well. I did do a sunlight test for you guys. You will see, I think this lace actually has some tint to it because I just took some foundation from my forehead uh, and on a clean brush and just transferred it to the lace. So I haven't done that much tinting on it. Um, so outside it does, you can see my lace. Also, I didn't even put, this is 100% glueless. I didn't even put my Nairobi foam on it or anything. I'm wearing it just plopped on my head. So you're going to see the frayed edges of my lace and stuff like that, but not really on camera, but you will see it like in real life and outside. Um, what else do I like about this wig? I like that they have the, the hairline already pre-tweezed 
and personally i have a large head so this is very comfortable on my head this is definitely big head friendly so if you do have a smaller head you're going to have to adjust your straps because i had to adjust my straps and you might have to enlist the help of a wig grip to keep it on your head because this is a large cap let's get into the cons i do have some shedding but i'm not gonna knock that as a con because i did tweeze the hairline up a little bit more but the con is that it does tangle and that's to be expected because this is even though it's a nicer it's a nicer synthetic fiber on this wig it's still a synthetic wig and it is long so it is tangling so that's a con for me but the big cons with this wig is the density this is so thin so thin i mean i still look nice in the wig but this is one of the thinnest wigs i've tried in a while now if you're somebody who wants a natural density this could be good for you but i think this is beyond natural density i think this is just plain out thin and i do kind of feel the back being thin too so overall this is all the way thin the body curl didn't look thin like from the front from the back it was thin this is just thin everywhere so that's a huge con and a just just a big turn off for me with this wig uh the density and another con this wig is called yaki straight 26 and this is definitely not yaki so everything that miss chrissy said as far as the texture and the density i agree with 100 percent. this is silky even though it has like a nice luster that looks that looks like it's not uh silky it feels very silky i'm just not a big fan of that so just overall i personally would pass on this wig i would give this wig like a six and a half the redeeming qualities about it like the you know the pre-plucked hairline the lace being pretty good and the knots being small and the cap being large those are really good but i can't get with how thin this is and the texture of it not being what they say say it is i think if this was more on the on the lines of the texture from Utre marissa i would love this um because i think a yaki texture a true yaki texture with this density would be nice for summertime some of y'all might still like this um uh, even after me you know telling you that i would pass on it and i purchased this with my own coins and i'm letting you know i just can't get with how thin this is so i mean i think this series has a lot of potential and maybe with their the ones that come out after this this could be really good though for some people who run hot but they still want to wear long hair but it's just too thin for me so this gets a six and i'm going to tell you to pass but this is just my opinion if you still want to purchase this i'll have my affiliate links in the description box and you can shop through those links or shop wherever you want to shop um yeah i'm still in good spirits because it, it's still cute it's just not it's not a favorite so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys